Hi all, Rob back again. Today we are looking at the variations of Gloom so far. This is the continuation of my first Gloom video. As you may have guessed, I really like this game and want to collect everything, but later I realised that should be a need to get expansions and games and not just a want. My collection is not complete as I do not have Gloom of Thrones as I was not heavily into the whole series. First of all, Munchkin Gloom. This is played in the same way as the base game of Gloom. You choose a party of five, which is set members from four groups. Modifier cards are played on characters which change their self worth. Once they have negative self worth, then the untimely death cards can be played on them. When a whole group has received an untimely death card, that is the end of the game, and only the score of the dead people are counted. Event cards were also played in the game. The special thing about this deck is that it refers to Steve Jackson's game Munchkin. The next is Fairy Tale Gloom. This also runs the same way as the base game, except that you pick four characters from a stock of 20 to make up your own family. This also contains story cards like the Unquiet Undead expansion. At setup, four story cards are randomly placed in the centre of the table. These follow the story icons according to the card. This game has event and modifier cards as the other games. But this has unhappy endings instead of untimely death. This version is good for those family members who are not fond of death and killing, as the characters go through a sad story while referencing well-known fairy stories. The next is Gloom in Space. Like Fairy Tale Gloom, you pick four characters from the stock of 20 to make up your own space group. This is run the same as the base game, with a set of normal cards. This version has modifier cards that cover the character's portrait as their story progresses. It has references to Star Trek, Star Wars and other sci-fi shows. So if you fancy stories set in the stars for the misfortunes of a starship commander and the crew, this is worth a look. This is good for creating lighter stories for all the family. Last, so far, is Cthulhu Gloom. I have this base game and the expansion, Unpleasant Dreams. The base game has four families to pick from, and the addition of story cards. The story cards are used as before, but with different story icons, which are Blank, Goblet, Horror, Investigation, madness, music, romance, and none. The expansion brings an extra family, uninvited guests, and more general cards. Some with a sheep story icon. This has a heavy reference of Cthulhu, which is quite interesting. I only have a vague knowledge on the subject, so it's mostly lost on me. To conclude, Gloom's simple rules are quite easy to understand, which makes it a great platform for storytelling fun. When the story landscapes are laid out, players naturally add more details to make their narrative turn in unpredictable ways. This means that all the players are usually interested in what everyone is doing and how the stories are progressing. The base game does have a macabre theme that can put some people off, like my wife. But we did Connor into playing by using the space and fairy tale variations. This all helps imagination, storytelling, and social interaction that usually has low consequences, which means imaginations can run wild, so scenarios can be tried out to measure peer reactions. Also, the narrative can grow to the confidence of the individual. Well, I hope this helps and hope to see you next time. You know I can see you. I would prefer a full bottle in front of me than a full frontal bottom.